No, no, no. Yeah. Welcome back. Fundraising. Everyone's doing it, everyone's got a special cause, and if you think electronic donations are the future, well, we've got something which might well be a little bit novel for you. Well, someone who's become a bit of a friend of Seven Sharp, he's been on the show a couple of times, has come up with a new fundraising platform. All he wants is one buck. Here's Michael Holland. Come in, back and forth, up to the halfway line and back. Oh, yeah. Dribbling the ball, come on. Good job, nice work. Remember this geezer? Oh. Robbie Ritchie, the dad who needed his brain fixed. Well, fixed it is. Oh, it could be a goal, it could be a goal! So, Robbie set himself a new goal. Oh, he misses! And he's adamant he will score. It's a simple concept, but it's really, really effective. A concept that kept him awake as he lay in a German hospital after brain surgery to reduce the risk of life-threatening seizures. I just couldn't sleep. I was too excited. I was finding something that's going to save a whole lot of people's lives. So what do you think of how we've laid out the points there? I think it's great. It captures it perfectly. I mean, can you put a price on your life? You're going to die. Robbie's brainwave dubbed One Dollar Warriors. One Dollar Warrior is somebody that's got one dollar. Raising money for others like himself, who were forced to look overseas for life-saving treatment. The catch was, it was going to cost $200,000, and I only had six weeks to raise the money. Through the help of a lot of people and a lot of hard work, we finally got there. We need a whole bunch of warriors. One dollar warriors. How many warriors are out there? There's a whole country of warriors out there. If you need $100,000, just ask 100,000 people for a dollar each. It's pretty simple, eh? Simply, the more people who register on the One Dollar Warriors database, the more patients who can be helped. That poor little dude, he's, he's been through a lot. Case in point, seven-year-old Patrick Walsh. Patrick's story is, is a great one. That's, that's exactly the kind of thing we want to be supporting. Just back from major surgery in Minnesota for a rare heart condition. Where did you get that done? In America. At the Mayo Clinic? Yeah. Wow. And do you show that off to everyone? Nearly everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like Robbie, Patrick's parents were forced to go to the community to raise $200,000 in a matter of weeks. Lots and lots of people pulled together and just helped us. It was pretty amazing. Under the One Dollar Warriors model, an email to database members could have raised some, if not all, of the money required. If you have a... Um, a genuine reason to ask for help. You shouldn't be scared to ask for help because there are lots of people out there that will, you know, put their hand up. When we came home, there was a feeling of owing something, of debt, and knowing that we could never repay that because it was more than just money. It was Robbie's life that people had given back to us. Um, and now there is just like a, a sense of relief that we feel like we can give back. You thought you were going to be on the same team when I got you. Keep going, Mac. It's too simple. It is. Yeah. Chase Alex, Chase Alex. And you had to have brain surgery to come up with the idea. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Right, good on it. This is how it works. You join the database of Warriors, right, and you only get hit up for cash, all $1 of it. Uh, when Robbie finds a suitable case, someone whose you know, life is at risk and they can't get the treatment they need here, so they need to go overseas. So if you want to join in, the link is on our Facebook page. Doesn't seem a lot, does it? No.